Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Journey 2. So today's video, we're gonna be looking at the dev notes, guys. Now, I know a lot of you are super excited to get into this game and actually be able to play it. I wanted to hop in here. I wanna do a quick summon. We know the Mystic Collection has been released, which is kind of like the Field of Stars in AFK Arena. Um, we've been making a lot more progression. And overall, the dev notes show a lot of stuff that is coming to this game that I do wanna cover. But again, I wanna hop in the Noble Tavern, similar to AFK Arena. We do have quite a few diamonds in here. So I wanna do at least one summon out of here. So hopefully, we can get some new heroes, guys. Now, through regular gameplay, I'm very, very limited at this point on the beta version um, to get some heroes, but get multiple copies of heroes or even get new heroes. It has been incredibly, incredibly difficult because again, we don't have everything that we're gonna have on a normal one. We don't have a lot of the codes that we're gonna see when this game comes out. It's gonna be interesting again to see when we actually have this released and what we do get out of this game at any given mode. Because even when it comes to the scrolls, guys, looking at the new hero right here, still trying to find a copy of them. Every every time that we've done summons, haven't been too lucky. And I haven't been playing this game a ton, but you can see guys, even right there is just one more green hero, which is gonna be recycled into an acorn, meaning we get nothing for it. Now, within the Everlight, we also do have the Labyrinth. We do have the Dream Realm, as well as the Arena. This part has not changed as of yet, but we do have some more that is coming. They've done quite a bit with the new hero, um, quite a bit of improvements. Let's go ahead and check out the dev notes. All right, guys, so here it is, AFK Journey 2, the talk with designers. Um, definitely want to look at this. Big shout out to Sunny for putting these over on the Discord server. So it's been a long time since the last significant update, which is very, very true, guys. We've been waiting and there's currently no new content available for play. This is one of the stopping points, guys. Most players have gotten to a point where, short of the PvP aspect, they're just running through and doing the exact same thing um, pretty much every day. So first of all, I want to apologize for the long wait. There is an upcoming patch 1.0 or 1.0.4 version, which will include significant optimization across all aspects of the game. Additionally, we filled in some new events. This is what we need, guys, to keep players engaged with this again. This game, um, we've had the three kind of things to do, including the guild event, over the last um, probably couple of months. Over the next six months, we plan to bring updates at a higher frequency with important optimization, fresh gameplay, and exciting content addition. We appreciate you for understanding. Which brings us into the big part. Can you share the details of the update? This is huge, guys. Some important versions in here, a content update, excited to announce the long-awaited new chapter, which again, there are a lot of players that are completely stuck on the current chapter. So there is a new chapter that is coming to this game, which is going to be awesome. You can explore a vast town area, delve into larger temples and ruins, which is gonna be cool. Progressing through quests, we're eager to hear the feedbacks about this. In terms of functionality and gameplay, this is the most difficult part of game creation um, is the, the gameplay itself. They have been significant improvements to enhance the overhaul experience, aiming to experience smoother, more interesting, and easier to understand. This was a lot of the feedback that we did give them over in Discord. Besides, we have iterated on two crucial character pipelines, exclusive equipment and artifacts, definitely making those easier. Exclusive equipment, we aim to make the more heroes more distinctive and the mechanism of unlocking exclusive equipment more enjoyable. This is exclusive equipment. I don't believe that is the equipment that, uh, that go just goes on everybody, but it is to a hero, which again, I, I haven't gotten that far in the game. Definitely want to do that if they have not released it at this point. To achieve this, they'd rework most characters' exclusive equipment, which I'm assuming is going to be on each one. Rest assured, this won't change previous effects that are not in vain. They're, they're making sure that they're not impacting the players who have already gotten that point. After the update, all exclusive equipment progression will be reset to the players. They'll receive the return resources in the mail. With the new mechanism, you can build more favorable heroes to your liking, which I like. And you can also furthermore integrated talents and artifacts, reducing the overall cost of building them, which has been super, super expensive, guys. And the artifacts are easier to understand with clear building goals. This again, a lot of it was kind of confusing. So with the patch, they also made significant and um, attempts to enhance AFK journey, aiming to provide you with a better experience, characters, and emotional bonds in Esperia, which is exactly what we want. 
They're thanking us for all of our feedback, the production of AFK loot, and the difficulty of gameplay. So there are a lot of stages that are near impossible to get through, guys. It is kind of crazy how some parts in this game are simply easy. You can run right through, and then other parts are incredibly, incredibly difficult, guys. Now, other big thing I'd like to share in advance, in the version rework system, the main quest goal, you in early gameplay, clear, clear and less confusing. After the update, you can claim rewards of new tasks and previous rewards will not be recycled, which means they're giving us more rewards overall. Now, will this drastically adjust and affect my account progression in hero building? No need to worry, guys. Though the version has made adjustments in many aspects, they're returning a lot of the balance items and resources, so they will be in the mail, guys. Arena coins, labyrinth coins, dream realm fragments, resources used to build artifact, and exclusive equipment will be returned. So pretty much all of the content and everything you've been doing in the game, if you got into the beta, if you've been playing, is pretty much going to be returned. I don't even know many places outside of all of those different game modes that you're going to and have that um, have anything else other than what is being returned. Remember to claim the existing main class crest rewards and use up accumulated draw action points for the maximum benefit. They apologize for any, again, changes that are coming. For the compensation, they're giving us diamonds and some invitation letters, which I love to see. Also in here, they do address the absolute biggest hurdle. We're hoping to see some benefit or events to help us out. We're currently facing resource limitations. That is right, guys. Once you get to a certain point in this game, like I said before, it is almost a stopping point because you can't get enough summons to get the heroes you need. If you don't have the heroes you need, then you actually cannot progress any further because they're not strong enough to get through. So literally different points of this game, we were hitting hard walls um, that we couldn't go through and make any more progression. Now, due to certain functionality gameplay and operational events will not be deployed in the current stage of the game, and we'll aim to ensure a more enjoyable experience and encouraging valuable feedback. Benefits up to 1,500 diamonds per week, which is gonna be awesome for giving feedback, which I definitely like. Now, please note that this is exclusive benefit is specifically for the test server, does not represent the standard practice once it is formally launched. But again, this is going to be huge, guys, with 1,500 diamonds right here that we're getting on a regular basis. It is going to allow us, at least on a weekly basis, be able to do some more summons. They need to give us some cards. They need to give us diamonds. Compensation needs to be in there somewhere just so literally we can test out the much further content within this game, and I cannot wait for the patch. Then, of course, the other huge question we get, when will the next qualification test be open? They did mention earlier, as it says right here, including numerous updates and adjustments that they were going to let and give open this up the beta for a lot more players. If the game experience meets the expectation, we will promptly open up test qualifications, which means guys, keep an eye out, keep an eye out to the channel. I will send out some information um, if it opens, if I see anything, and I hope that you do the same guys over on the channel. Um, if you see anything open up, if you see that they're opening the beta, the faster that you get in here, the better it is going to perform. Now at this point, unfortunately, they do not have the iOS version, so it is through um, the Google Play Store and it is very limited to where it's located. I actually downloaded it through APK Peer over on Bluestacks to be able to actually play this game and create an account. So in addition, the the version includes many improvements and iterations for hero battles. However, due to limited space, the complete update will be released later. That is right, guys. This is only a sneak peek of what is coming to the AFK Journey 2, which again, really, really cool to see, guys. So that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.